Kate Blanchett went all out for her latest role. The 53-year-old star told Good Morning America on Monday that she learned how to play the piano and conduct while picking up German to star as renowned musician Lydia Tarr in the new movie Tarr. It was a joy to do, Blanchett said while on the morning show. Good work, Kate Blanchett went all out for her latest role. The 53-year-old star told Good Morning America on Monday that she learned how to play the piano and conduct while picking up German to star as renowned musician Lydia Tarr in the new movie Tarr. Conducting acclaim, the New Yorker has described Blanchett's performance as imperious and incandescent and The Hollywood Reporter has called her astounding. The psychological drama film centers around Kate's stunning portrayal of a fictional character named Lydia Tarr. Lydia is a world-famous figure in contemporary classical music and her titanic career begins to unravel as her past comes back to haunt her. She went on to share that stepping in front of the The Dresden Philharmonic was the most intimidating part of her for preparation as the star conducted the German symphony for real. You won't be prepared for the sound of those big orchestral works Kate said. Work is her joy. It was a joy to do, Blanchett said while on the morning show, sharing. She went on to share that stepping in front of the The Dresden Philharmonic was the most intimidating part of her for preparation as the star conducted the German symphony for real. Breathing, explained the Oscar winner, is the soul of a conductor's skill. She went on to reference Leonard Bernstein before expounding on the magnetic aura of the role. The interview then shared a clip of the film that showed a tense exchange between Blanchett's Lydia and her on-screen wife played by the actress Nina Haas. The film's writer and director Todd Field has stated that he would not have done the movie without Blanchett in the central role. The work moves her. You won't be prepared for the sound of those big orchestral works, Kate said. Kate is great. The film's writer and director Todd Field has stated that he would not have done the movie without Blanchett in the central role. The prestige film premiered last month at the Venice Film Festival where it was met with a six-minute standing ovation. The resounding critical acclaim has only continued to grow, with many pegging Blanchett's performance as a frontrunner for Best Actress at this year's Academy Awards. Dressed in a royal blue dress and red stiletto boots, the star flashed a beaming smile from behind designer shades as she made her way into the studio. Royal blue and regal red, Blanchett arrived at Good Morning America's studio in New York City in a blue dress and knee-high stiletto boots. A winning look, the siren wore her blonde hair down in a sleek bob. And her makeup was done nicely with glossy lipstick and pink blush. All Rise, the prestige film premiered last month at the Venice Film Festival where it was met with a six-minute standing ovation. The actress won her first Oscar for Best Supporting Actress in 2005 for playing Katherine Hepburn in Martin Scorsese's The Aviator. She then took home her second Academy Award for Woody Allen's Blue Jasmine back in 2013 as that year's Best Actress. Imperious and incandescent is how the The New Yorker described her performance, with The Hollywood Reporter lauding her work as astounding before summing up the film as a mesmerizing character study. The same day, later she was seen leaving her hotel in a bright orange jumper. Always elegant, the movie icon had on black sunglasses and a black purse over her shoulder. In addition to her performance in Tar Reaping Heaps of Praise, Kate has also been impressing with her wardrobe as she continues a non-stop press tour leading up to the film's release. Aided by superstar celebrity-styled Elizabeth Stewart, Blanchett has recently impressed in Alexander McQueen and Giorgio Armani. The style icon's next role will be quite the departure from her dramatic character in Tar as she returns to the mockumentary television series Documentary Now. To spoof a British hairdresser, Tar will be in select theaters on Friday and opens nationwide on October 28.